friends, this is Dr. Diane from the Shenandoah Valley Discovery Museum. Thank you for joining me as we read Moon Bear's um, Shadow. We are going to be looking at the concept of shadows today as part of our going on a bear hunt activity. So for this activity, you need a flashlight, you need an object, and you need a surface. A shadow is created when an object blocks light from falling on that surface. So an object shadow, here's my, my sun, let me turn my flashlight on. An object shadow always appears on the side opposite the light source. So if I put the sun in front of my bear, where is the shadow? You see it behind, right? And when I move it around, you can still see the bear's shadow. I'm just moving my light to the side. As I move it, you can still see the shadow it's just changing its location. If I bring it behind my bear, where is that shadow gonna be? It's gonna be in front of the bear. So, the flashlight in this activity is a model for how the sun casts shadows on Earth. On a sunny day, you block sunlight and you cast a shadow on the ground, on a wall, or on another surface. Your shadow always falls on the side opposite from the sun, just like bears. So see, I put the sun, there's Bear's shadow. Same thing happens if you go outside. Now, when the light source moves, the shadow changes. So if I move it around, that shadow changes. If I hold the flashlight really low, close to the ground, look at how long the Bear's shadow is. If I move it high up over Bear's head, do we have as long a shadow? No, it's much shorter. So we can make it long, we can make it short. So you can move your flashlight around and experiment with what happens to the shadow as you play. So Bear makes a shadow on the mat when he blocks the light of the flashlight. You can try this outside. When you go outside, you make a shadow on the ground when you block the light from the sun. In fact, anything that blocks a source of light can make a shadow. So remember, just like we did, you need a source of light. In this case, we used a flashlight. You need an object to block the light and you need a surface for the shadow to fall upon. So you can try this with a block and your light and see what happens. You can try this outside and see where your shadow falls depending on where you're standing. And you can also, this is my favorite thing, you can take a light source and you can make shadow puppets. What kind of shapes can you make by blocking light with your fingers? All right, so we are going to make some shadow puppets. So I've got my light source, and now I'm gonna make a little bunny. Can you see that I've got the light source behind me, and here are my fingers, and my fingers are blocking the light, and I'm making my bunny hop. What else could you make? Can you make an alligator or a duck? There's my bunny that's hopping. If I pull the light back, look at how much sharper the bunny is. What happens if I bring it really close? We lose it, right? So the further away, look at my duck. So you can also play with making shadows.